And ang tirad ng numbers for Evansville na row is 8 and 3. So definitely, we should subtract this 2, 8 minus 3. This will be 5. Same with number, or same with the row of Fort Lauderdale. Ang natira na lang is 9 and 5. So we should subtract this 2, 9 minus 5 equals 4. Okay, for the column natin, for the column of Albuquerque, we have 9 and 8. This is just the same with our second penalty, which is 1. And for this column of Boston, since all cells have their value, wala na ito. Ayan. For Cleveland, we have 5 minus 3. This is just the same with our second penalty, which is Alright, so for Evansville, we have 5 penalty points. For Fort Lauderdale, we have 4. For uh, for Albuquerque, we have 1. For Cleveland, we have 2. So, among all those penalty points, which is the highest, of course, 5. Good day, everyone. So, for this presentation, we will be having the transportation models again pero ibang method naman tayo so let's start as part of our recap again we have three different methodologies in solving the transportation models the first one is the northwest corner rule followed by the least cost method and the last one is the vogel's approximation method so for this uh, presentation we will be tackling all about the method three the vam or the vogel's approximation method for the types of transportation problem we have two types which is the balanced transportation problem and the last one the unbalanced transportation problem so again we will be having the vam methodology in this presentation and the problem is balanced transportation problem okay so we will be using the same example like what we have used before in the northwest corner rule and of course the least cost method for you to be able to uh, see the differences for in each type of the methodology in solving transportation models so just like before we have three different capacities from the, the three different factories the demo the Des Moines the Evansville and the Fort Lauderdale and of course we have the three warehouses which requires three different units 300 200 and 200 those warehouses are the Albuquerque Cleveland and Boston so they can ship from each different factories to different warehouses at any given units available for them based on their capacity and of course based on their requirement and we can we must do all those shipments with the minimum cost so that's the criteria on this problem okay for this Vogel's approximation method we actually have four steps and please uh, don't forget these steps for the first one we have we have here uh, for each row and column determine a penalty by subtracting the smallest unit cost in the row and or column from the second smallest unit cost in the same row or column so just like what we have before in the simplex algorithm we have here the penalty points uh, so this only means we should find the two smallest value of our cost and of course subtract those two and sige for the second step we have here find the row or the column with the largest penalty or ties are broken arbitrarily and then find the cell with the smallest unit cost in that row or column allocate as much as possible to the selected cell with the smallest unit cost in that row or column Allocate as much as possible to the selected cell and adjust the associated amounts of supply and demand by subtracting the allocated amount. So for step 3, we should cross out the row or the column without supply or demand. If both a row and a column have a zero value, arbitrarily cross out one only. And for the last step, we have here, if exactly one cell is left uncrossed, Cross out the cell and stop. Otherwise, go to step 1. So, just like what our other algorithm that we have discussed before, this is a, a looping algorithm 
if hindi pa tayo natatapos, balik lang ng balik sa step 1 and so on. No? So, for you to be able to understand all those steps, let's try it manually on our given problem. So, this is the tableau based on our previous illustration of the number of units to be shipped from three factories towards the three warehouses. So, as you can see, the tableau here is quite smaller compared to our tableau in Northwest Corner Rule and the least cost method because of the reason na mag extend tayo dito sa kanan and sa bandang ibaba now for the solution ng Vogel's approximation method. So, for this first step daw, we should have the penalty. But before that, I will have my pen. Wait, okay. Penalty points. For us to be able to get the penalty points, we should find the two smallest value of our cost in each row and column and subtract it. Okay? So, let's have our first penalty points here. Oops. First penalty. Ah. Okay. So, first penalty we have here. And let's extend this line. Okay, so the two smallest number here are, are 4 and 3. So, meaning to say, we should subtract this 2. 4 minus 3 equals 1. So, that will be the penalty for the first row, which is the row for Des Moines. And okay, now for the row of Evansville, we have also 4 and 3 as the smallest number. So, definitely, we should subtract this 2. 4 minus 3 equals 1. Then, next, we have the two smallest numbers are 7 and 5. So, let's subtract the 7 and 5 from each other. So, 7 minus 5 equals 2. Now, th those are the penalty for each row. And let's have now the penalty for each column. Let's extend the table. Oops. We'll erase this one. <laughs> okay. So let's extend this line. Extend this one. Oops. And this one. Okay, we need to have our first penalty here for each uh, column. Okay, so for this column of Albuquerque, the two smallest values are 8 and 5. So, let's have 8 minus 5, that is 3. Okay, for Boston... We have 4 and 4. So, definitely, let's subtract this. 4 minus 4, this will be 0. And next, we have for the Cleveland column, that is, we have 3 and 3 as the two smallest values. So, meaning to say, we will be having 3 minus 3 here for our first penalty. And this will be 0. So, we are actually on the second step, which is to find the largest penalty. So, we have 1 as the penalty for Des Moines, 1 for Evansville, 2 for Fort Lauderdale. For Albuquerque, we have 3. For Boston, we have 0. And for Cleveland, we have 0. So, among all those penalties, which are the high which is the highest penalty? Definitely the number 3. Penalty points for the column of Albuquerque. Therefore, what we will going to do now is to find the lowest number of cost or the lowest cost on this column of Albuquerque, which is 5, 8, and 9. The lowest is, of course, number 5. So let's have here 
Mm -hmm. Let's have here num Des Moines to Albuquerque. We have actually warehouse requirement is 300, and the factory capacity of Des Moines is 100. So let's have here 100. Oops, I should I should use other color. Mm -hmm. Let's try to use. Mm -hmm. Let's try to use other ito. Cyan. For you to be able to see. Okay, let's have 100 here. And, no, hindi siya kita, no? Ano bang okay na kulay dito? Yellow. Mag-blue na lang tayo para mas kita siya. So, let's have here 100. Okay. If 100 yan, definitely magiging zero na ito na wala na siyang ibibigay kay Boston and Cleveland and this will be 0 this 300 will now be 200 okay and now okay na ano na ano na na solve na natin yung una now let's back to white ink and let's have the second penalty points okay for the second penalty points let's First, have the penalty points for each row. So, let's have second penalty. And, okay. Second penalty. Okay. Now, for the second penalty of our row for Des Moines, as you can see, we don't have any cell that is left. So, meaning to say, wala na tayong penalty dito. Magkakaroon tayo for the Evans bill na lang. And the two smallest cost are 4 and 3. So, 4 minus 3, 1. As you can see, it is just the same with the first penalty. And for the fourth louder del, we have 7 and 5 as the smallest. And just like the Evans will, this is just the same for their first penalty. 7 minus 5 is 2. Okay, for the second penalty points, since the 5 is already used, we should now subtract the 9 and the 8. So we have 9 minus 8 equals 1. Same with this one and this one. 7 minus 4, this will be 3. 5 minus 3, this will be, uh, sorry, 5 minus 3, this will be 2. Now, next step is to find the largest penalty. Uh, so, we have penalty for Evans Bill, which is 1. For Fort Lauderdale, 2. For Albuquerque, 1. For Boston, 3. And for Cleveland, 2. So, the highest penalty for those penalty points is 3. Meaning to say, this is where... We should find the smallest cost and allocate some units to be shipped on that cell. No, so smallest cost is four versus seven, of course four. So we will be having now. Let's back to color blue. Okay, we will be having now a two hundred units to be shipped. Why two hundred? Because the Boston warehouse requirement is 200 and the Evans bill factory can produce 300. That's their capacity. So meaning to say this will be 0 and if this will be 0, the cell for Fort Lauderdale going to Boston will be 0, 2 and 300 minus 200 will be 100 capacity left for Evans bill factory. Alright, I hope nakakasunod kayo and I hope nakukuha ninyo ng mabusisi. Okay, let's back to computation ng ating mga penalty. Let's have now the third penalty points for row and of course for our column. Oops. Okay. Let's have third penalty. And, okay, let's start here. So, as you can see, wala na dito. Tapos na, no? So, okay na yan. Blank na yan. And, nagtirad ng numbers for Evansville na row is 8 and 3. So, definitely, we should subtract this 2. 8 minus 3, this will be 5. Same with number, or same with the row of Fort Lauderdale. 
ang natira na lang is 9 and 5. So, we should subtract this 2. 9 minus 5 equals 4. Okay, for the column natin, for the column of Albuquerque, we have 9 and 8. This is just the same with our second penalty, which is 1. And for this column of Boston, since all cells have their value, wala na ito. Ayan. For Cleveland, we have 5 minus 3. This is just the same with our second penalty, which is 2. Alright? So, for Evansville, we have 5 penalty points. For Fort Lauderdale, we have 4. For, uh, for Albuquerque, we have 1. For Cleveland, we have 2. So, among all those penalty points, which is the highest, of course, 5. Okay, meaning to say, this is where we should allocate now the goods to be shipped natin. Of course, we should find the lowest cost, which is 8 versus 3. Of course, that will be 3. And si Evans Bill, meron pa siyang 100 na, na pwede niyang ibigay kay Cleveland. Yun nga lang, ang requirement ni Cleveland is 200. Meaning to say, ibigay na natin yung buong 100 from Evans Bill papunta kay Cleveland. So, let's have here 100. And kung binigay mo na lahat, definitely zero na ito. And kapag zero na to, wala na ibibigay si Evans Bill kay Albuquerque. Therefore, zero na rin ito. Okay? And since nabawasan yung requirement ni Cleveland from 200, nabigyan na siya ng 100 ni Evans Bill. Ibig sabihin, 100 na lang yung kailangan niya. So, 100 na lang yan. Okay. I hope you're doing great. So, let's check or let's have now our fourth penalty points. Let's back to white, pink. Okay, let's have here for penalty. Okay, and for this one, let's have for penalty. Okay, so as you can see dito, wala na, no? tapos na tayo dito. Same with the row ng Evansville. So, okay na yan. For Fort Lauderdale, we have 9 minus 5. So, 9 minus 5, this is 4. As you can see, guys, dito sa Albuquerque, wala na tayong dapat na wala na tayong minus dahil 9 na lang. Eh. Hindi naman pwedeng minus mo pa siya kung anong value. So, wala na tayong magiging penalty points for this column. Same with Boston. Kanina pa siya natapos, no? Sa third penalty pa lang. And same with Cleveland. Ang natira kasi is only 5. Therefore, wala ka nang minus pa na isang value. So, wala na yan. Meaning to say, fourth penalty, ang meron lang tayo is yung 4. Therefore, pa-horizontal ang tingin natin, no? Sa row ng fourth louder dal tayo. So, 9 versus 5, which is lower. Of course, definitely 5. Meaning to say, yung requirement ni Cleveland na 100, ibigay mo na lahat, no? 100. Para zero na siya, wala na siyang kailangan. Dahil ang capacity naman na kaya i-produce ni Fort Lauderdale is 300. Therefore, may matitira sa kanya na 200. Okay, I hope you get it. And now, kung titingnan nyo, ang cell na lang na wala pang laman is the cell ng Fort Lauderdale intersection with Albuquerque. And kung titignan mo, the requirement of Albuquerque for the warehouse is 200. And may natira pa tayong 200 sa Fort Lauderdale na production nila. Therefore, ibigay na natin to lahat. No, 200. And this will be 0. And this will be 0. No, I hope you get it. Anyway, this is again a balanced na problem. Kasi we have 100, 300, 400, plus 300, 700. Tapos, ito is 3, 2, 2, 700. Balance siya. So, okay. Tapos na tayo. Ang ating mga sagot is 100 for the cell of Des Moines going to Albuquerque. 0 sa Boston and Cleveland. And of course, uh, Evansville to Albuquerque, 0. For the cell ng Evansville going to Boston, we have 200. For Evansville going to Cleveland, we have three uh, 100. From Fort Lauderdale going to Albuquerque, we have 200, 0 for Boston. And from Fort Lauderdale going to Cleveland, we have 100. And that ends up the Vogel's approximation method algorithm. Now, this is now the time for us to solve for their shipping cost. Okay? So, just like what 
our methodology and computation of shipping cost based on our previous uh, algorithms. Same ang ating format na gagamitin. So, we have root here from and of course yung 2. Oops. Okay. From and 2. Oops. Dito na tayo mag -ana. Mag line. Let's erase this one. And by the way, para hindi na tayo mahirapan, tulad ng techniques na ginagawa natin before, no, sa mga labels natin, kasi para din natin isulat, lagyan na lang natin ito ng labeling, A, B, C, D, E, F. Tulad ng nakaraan. So, A, B, this is C, and this is D, E, and F. Okay? So, let's continue the table for shipping cost. Now, after the column of the root, we should have the column for units ship. Let's have here units ship. Alright. And next column is the cost per unit of the shipping. Cost per unit. And lastly, we have the total cost. And total cost. Okay. First one, let's have here 100 from Des Moines to Albuquerque. Or from D to A, 100. And that is $5. So, let's have here from D to A. Subline here. Okay. And units ship, number of units ship is 100. And the cost is five dollars. Therefore, one hundred multiplied to five. This is five hundred dollars for that shipment. Oops. Okay. Next, we have okay. Na ito. Let's cancel this out. Dial zero naman ang value. Same with this and this one. Next, natin we have Evansville going to Boston, or E to B. That is. 200 units and 4 ang cost niya. Let's have here E to B. 200 units and the cost is $4. So, 200 multiplied to 4. This is 800. Okay. Next, okay na ito. We have now E to C or from Evansville going to Cleveland. 100 units and that is 3 dollars so let's have here e to c 100 and three dollars total of 300 dollars next okay na itong part na to let's have now from fort lauderdale going to albuquerque which is 200 units and nine dollars ang cost niya so we have f to a that is 200 and this is uh, $9. You can cost 9 times 200. So, this is 1,800. Okay, let's box ating table. Okay na to. Okay na to dahil zero. And this one, last one natin, we have from Fort Lauderdale going to Cleveland or from F to, to C, 100 units. And that is $5. So, let's have here F to C. 100, then $5. 100 multiplied to 5. Basically, this is $500. And we're done. Now, the last step, final step, is of course, let's have the total cost. 500 plus 800 plus 300 plus 1,800 plus 500. Total niya is 3,900 dollars okay so that's the final minimum cost using the vam method or the vogel's approximation method as you can see we have the lcm before or the northwest corner rule before northwest corner rule the final answer on our northwest corner rule is actually 4200 
let's just compare the answers, no? So, for LCM, that is $4,100. And for the VAM, we have $3,900. Meaning to say, ito ang ating optimal solution for that kind of problem. No, optimal solution. Siya na yung pinakamaliit sa lahat. Guys, uh, it just so happened na sa VAM tayo nakakuha ng pinakamaliit na values. Pero may mga cases, ulitin ko, no? may mga cases na minsan nasa least cost siya, minsan nasa northwest siya. Pero generally speaking, uh, pinakamaliit kadalasan no ang VAM. Yun yung nangyayari. Pero hindi siya hindi siya ano, hindi siya definite na laging ganoon. No, marami lang yung chances na siya yung pinakamaliit. Pero for you no, just just a tip, gawin niyo pa rin lahat ng mga methodology para mas makita ninyo yung pinakamaliit na cost. So that is for the manual na computation ng ating mga transportation methods, transportation model, I hope you get it. I hope nakuha ninyo ng malinaw, well explained, very detailed, at step-by-step uh, -step talaga. No? And sana wag nyo kalimutan dahil may kasunod pa tayong mga topics na of course related dito. And I hope you enjoy learning with me no thank you for your participation again see you online sa ating next na presentation keep safe always bye bye